Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to remove or disable Windows 10 or Windows 11's AI bloatware with the new Bloaty Nosy AI. As you might know, Microsoft is trying to push a lot of AI into the latest Windows operating systems and you might not like it. And if that's the case, I'll show you how to get an app called Bloaty Nosy app that can help you get rid of AI related features and any additions that Microsoft has been pushing lately. So in order to do this, open up an instance of your default browser and then simply access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official GitHub for Bloaty Nosy AI 2.0 and here you can just download it for free. So scroll down and then search for the Bloaty Nosy AI.zip under assets and just click on it. Now in here, choose a location, preferably on your desktop and then click on the save button. Now just minimize your browser and open up the bloaty nosy zip file. What you have to do now is extract all of these files within the zip file into a folder. So just select all of them, then right click and select the copy option, then go on your desktop, right click once again on an empty space, hover over new and select folder. And just type bloaty nosy app for example. Now simply copy paste all the content from the zip file in this folder and you're good to go. From here on, just right click on the bloaty nosy AI.exe and run it as an administrator to avoid any checks. You will see that you might get a message from Microsoft Defender Smart Screen that prevented an unrecognized app from starting. But just click on more info and select run anyway. And from here on, feel free to play with all the settings that you have available at hand to customize the AI integration on your Windows 11 and as well choose how much information you want to share with Microsoft, deny advertising and all kinds of settings like diagnostic data, optional diagnostic data. There's plenty of stuff that you can play with that will help you customize your Windows 11 operating system to run at full potential. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.